Monday seemed to mark an important step in our new normal. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us live from Doral with how things went on day one. Brooke, good morning. Hey ladies, good morning. Yesterday, a welcome change for many business owners and customers throughout Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Today, many of those shops gearing up for day two of what Miami-Dade County is calling a new normal. People can once again sit inside this South Florida staple in Kendall. And I'm so glad that I got to be here with everyone and it was great food and um, we waited a long time for this. Flanagan's restaurant reopened under strict rules from Miami-Dade County. The rain didn't stop some people at the Palms at Town & Country shops and restaurants in Kendall. Doral City Center's shops, salons and restaurants also reopened. Walked in really quick to the nail salon to make a quick appointment. Um, they did tell me that they aren't even taking walk-ins, which is good. You can only make an appointment over the phone. In South Miami's entertainment district, people were sitting at tables outside of popular Deli Lane Cafe. The city allows owners to use a bigger area to space out tables. And the city is attracting customers with free curbside parking. It's been really tough. You know, we, we lost probably about 50% of our business or a little more. The owner of South Miami's East Tie-In Noodles is still cleaning and will start dine-in eating next week. A short drive away, the owner of Isabel, which has home decorations, is hopeful for a strong comeback after being open for nearly 30 years. I think it'll pick up a little bit. I think people are very cautious. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez visited a Miami Lakes barber shop. I'm happy that they're back in business and uh, getting their customers back and again getting this economy flowing. He then stopped by Sergio's restaurant in Kendall. Oh. Okay, you take your temperature? The mayor of Homestead got his temperature checked and then a haircut on Monday morning. Phase one reopening happened after there was an increase in Miami-Dade cases. From May 4th to the 10th, there were 1,100 positive cases. The following week, 1,700 people tested positive, and roughly 350 more people were tested during that week compared to the one before. The spread is still on the minds of many. I think it's great to be able to get out, but still being cognizant of the, uh, the virus and everything. Now, not every city in Miami-Dade County started that phase one reopening yesterday. Miami, Hialeah, Miami Gardens, Miami Beach, and Coral Gables are taking a bit of a slower approach. They will start reopenings tomorrow and into next week. I'm live in Doral, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4, this morning.